That's you can ask all the questions you want and read the manual until you're blue in the face, but until you get out and do stuff like this, you're just not going to learn about your unit. So we're going to go structure, structure. And if you look, all I'll do is I'll take you to the chart. We'll go full chart here if you look right here. This X right here, we crossed over a boat. And what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how you would... Uh, Let's pretend, let's look right here. Let's just say we had the structure scan going, okay? Just keep it looking down there, dude. All right, and we're just cruising along. And we have it split here, so we got left and right and a down view. And we, this is literally what we just did. We just put the boat in and we're cruising out. We're getting ready to go get some bait and go fishing. And while we're driving, driving through and we noticed <laughs> there was a sunken boat we're not trying to sink ourselves you look right off here to our left we just saw this boat but you can see we didn't drive over it if you look over here on the side we did not drive over that but we weren't lucky enough the side scan caught it so you know we want to go fish over that boat so all we do is hit our keypad over here and we drag the cursor right over the top of that that boat and what I like to do is I'm going to make two marks. I'm going to make a mark right on the bat, what I assume is the bow of that boat. Save. I'm going to make another one, what I think is the stern of that boat. Save. X out. And if you look up here, on my other chart up here, these are tied together. So I set the waypoint here, but it saved it up here as well. I didn't need to get two, G buy two GPS antennas or any of that nonsense. It shares everything. It shares the transducers, shares the structure scan, shares the radar, shares the Sirius antenna, shares it all. If I adjust the brightness on one unit, it adjusts, it's, it changes up here. It's just incredible, incredibly efficient here. And watch this. And now keep in mind, I didn't drive over that boat. That boat was way off to our left. But now if you look up top, I can see where those two marks work. I'll drive right between those marks. And if we want to, we can anchor right on top of that and fish. And the coolest part was, we didn't drive over it and get lucky. We saw it way off to our left. We never would have saw that if we didn't have the side scan, period. All right, we're getting ready to put the boat back on the trailer. With the Simrad RS, the new RS25 radio, it comes with a wireless handset. This is the old style with the wire. Right now, my buddy Charlie's up in the rate up in the truck, and he's got the new handset, and it couples right with the radio. And right now, I'm going to give him direction on how to back down, so I can tell him if he needs to come a little further, left, right, whatever, instead of yelling and screaming you, at the ramp. There he is, right there. Yeah, I'm here, Charlie. That's cool. He thinks it's cool. I'm ready when you are, baby. Okay. <laughs> it's a little more civil than screaming. See him backing down. That's a perfect line, come on. I imagine he was about 200 feet away or more when he first called us. You don't have to buy two radios to do this. You can use the same radio, you just hit the intercom button and you just speak through the intercom. It's really designed for larger boats where you'd want one up in the, in the front of the boat or if you had a flybridge, you want one up top and one in the bottom, but it works great for a small boat too. I'm going to stop, Mike. Keep on coming, baby, keep on coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Come on, come on, come on, stop. That was perfect. Let me stop. Perfect. We're gonna pull up right now. Watch this. Come back one foot. Perfect. Hold it right there. Hold on, Jamie. 